Hi, I'm author Stacy McAnulty. Happy World Read Aloud Day. I am the author of uh, numerous books, including The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl, but I thought today I would read from my newest novel, The World Ends in April. This book stars Eleanor Dross. She is um, a seventh grader who discovers a website by a Harvard professor that says an asteroid is going to crash into the earth in the spring. April specifically. So I thought I'd read uh, the first couple pages of this book for you, you know, since April's coming up pretty quickly. The world ends in April. Chapter one. Mac Jefferson, my best and only friend, reads to me from his braille edition of The Outsiders. I spread out on the floor of my bedroom with my dog, Bubbles, running my hand through her soft belly fur and wondering if we have any pudding cups in the pantry. Also wondering if Mac will notice if I slip out for a few minutes. Probably I've tried in the past. Elle, are you even listening? He asks. Of course, always. I love this book. Lies, all lies. Mac uses a ridiculous accent like he's a vampire from Transylvania when he's actually a black, blind, 12-year-old kid from North Carolina. Just keep reading. I pull Bubbles into my lap. Dude, I finished the chapter. Oh, good. That means our language arts homework is done. Max, a good student. I'm a student. Do you want to? A loud knock interrupts me. Bubbles jumps up, barks once, and then hides under my bed. Go away. No one is here. I'm expecting one of my brothers. But the door opens and it's Grandpa Joe in his camouflage pants and an army green t-shirt and a matching cap. His cheeks are red and his eyes flash with excitement. Hey, what are you doing here? I ask. Even though he lives only 10 minutes away, he really just stops by. Private Eleanor Dross, it's time. We have to bug out now. He smiles, but quickly covers the grin with his hands. What? I say as if I don't know what he's talking about but I totally do. Grandpa Joe is here for one of his drills. He spends his days getting ready for catastrophes, and whenever he can, he drags me and my brothers along for practice. We can't, I tell him. I have a friend over, motioning to Mac in case Grandpa Joe missed him. We'll take Private Mac with us, but we gotta roll now. Giddy up. What's happening? Mac rocks back and forth in his seat. Get moving, soldiers. I'll explain in the truck. Grandpa Joe claps his hands three times. Grandpa Joe, stop. You're scaring Mac. I'm not scared, Mac says, smiling. Bubbles wriggles out from under the bed and jumps back into my lap. She must sense that this is not an emergency. I look at the time on my phone. It's almost six. Dad's going to be home any minute. And he has no patience for these drills. Your daddy is gone, Grandpa Joe says. And for a second, I feel sick, as if he's told me Dad was gone, gone. Stuck in Columbus on business. Called to ask if I could look after y'all tonight. I understand now. Grandpa Joe has decided to seize the moment. I don't have time for drills, I whine. I have homework and Netflix to watch. Who says this is a drill? Grandpa Joe puts his fists on his hips and puffs out his chest. Grab your bug out bag. Be in the truck in two minutes. I'll round up the boys. So that is the opening of The World Ends in April. I hope you check it out. And I also hope you have a great World Read Aloud Day filled with um, lots of books today and always. Thanks, guys.